Hey, it's Paul from HowToNetwork.here. So if you're studying for an IT exam or planning to, I'm going to give you my top nine IT study hacks. And this is based on all of my years of studying for IT exams, police exams, detective exams, a business law degree, a bunch of other stuff, master's degree, and uh, coaching thousands of students just like you. And these really work well. So let's get to it. If you haven't heard of me, uh, these are my books. I was going to crack a joke, but never mind. <laughs> Maybe you haven't heard of me. Um, these are my books. I used to work at Cisco Tech. I've been teaching IT since 2002. Written all these books you can see and more. And um, I started out knowing nothing. My main website I'll mention later is howtonetwork.com. I've got 101labs.net if you want to check it out. And in60days.com is for CCNA. If you want more videos like this, hit the subscribe button, but smack the bell so YouTube can tell you when it's ready. All right, your typical exam results. This is why it costs so much. Each exam, uh, the, network the Network Plus is almost 400. The A Plus is two exams. So you imagine you take two exams for the A Plus. Each one takes you two to three attempts. So that's between four and uh, six attempts and each one is two hundred dollars ccna up here is uh, three hundred the average international pass rate is around fifty percent for most of these exams actually between thirty to fifty but i'll be generous and say um, fifty so there's something going wrong there's a, a strategy that people aren't using when they do this these are the main reasons People run out of time. They know what they're doing, but they can't answer the questions. They get stuck doing a lab or trying to think of a subnetting question. The mind went blank. This is due to, obviously, and I'm going to tell you how to fix the anxiety problem. Unexpected topics. This is lack of preparation, obviously. So sometimes they can ask you stuff that's not in the syllabus mainly is due to lack of preparation the exam format so if you take your typical exam you've got theory multiple question multiple answers drag and drop fill in the blank lab um, your lab could be hands-on or you could actually just have to um, log into equipment and answer questions uh, and troubleshoot all of these things are ways they're going to ask you about topics. So if you haven't prepared for the way they ask questions, and most of them you can't go back and fix your answers. So my hacks will take you to from around the, this level here to around this level here, around 90%. I'm, I'm looking at around 95 to be honest. So if that's of interest, please listen in. Hack one, you must write notes in your study guides. You write tons of notes, in fact. This is why I say use a printed book. You've got a printed book. You can get your little colour things here. You can have a guide. So one of your colours could be for hands-on commands. One could be for theory. One could be for um, if you want to lab something up. Um, I'm not that type of person that does all of this creative stuff, but when it comes to IT, um, this w actually works really well. So I, I use it for IT study, not for other studying. So um, hack one, write notes in there. This is why you need a printed book, really. The next thing, nobody does this, but everyone should record the audio so you can read the book or at the very least read your cram guide onto your microphone on your PC and then listen to it when you're traveling to work or at the gym, whatever. It goes in subliminally, trust me. So around, so auditory learning, all the experts say 30%, you can see it here, 30% of you learn this way. 65 uh, here are visual and then 5% are kinesthetic, which is basically learned by doing. But you might be a mixture. So you might be 50% uh, auditory and 50% uh, visual. Now, videos are obviously a mixture of both. 
so this is why videos might work for you if you only would like to learn visually then a book might be the best thing for you to learn however I'm recommending you do a mixture of all of these in order to tick just in case you don't know all of your learning modalities this is what these are called the modalities this is why I actually created shameless plug here an audio book for CC, Cisco CCNA Simplified and CCNA in 60 days you can look on the website for those you must lab it up in fact I wouldn't have wasted thousands tens of thousands of dollars creating all of these books and years of my life if I didn't think labbing stuff up wasn't important so we've got CCNA network plus subnetting I've also released CCMP and um, Linux is live next month or oh, and Wireshark Wireshark certified network analyst is up soon so you must lab stuff up you'll never understand anything about TCP IP subnetting security wireless anything until you've labbed it up free from most major vendors so um, Amazon S3 you can load um, ser server SQL uh, the HTML servers uh, firewalls I've accessed online I can't remember which ones off the top of my head obviously um, packet tracer from Cisco is now free um, all the Windows stuff you can download evaluation versions there's almost nothing that you can't get a uh, free trial access to in order to learn how to do it next thing is practice exams a take from day one so if you're doing a say a 60 day study program what most people do is from day 55 start doing these exams and then they panic because no matter how much you've read you will start getting around 10% score because it's just you you're struggling to apply what you've learned in your book or videos to how they get asked because you remember any question has got one two three four five answers and they all look almost the same there's just a little bit of difference between each one of these so from day one do practice exams you start off getting 10 percent and then come day 55 you are getting around you should be at least 95 percent which I think I mentioned here you should be getting at least 95 percent and then you'll know that you're ready to take the exam on day 60 or 61 so practice exams hack four Oh, and desensitization. This is why I said went blank. Why people fail. They didn't do enough practice exams and they got stuck because they panic and see all of these questions that look the same. Treat it as a study tool. So as I said, you'll get 10%. Nobody cares because it's a practice exam. So who cares? Cram guides. I actually got the idea for a cram guide. There's, they still make these. There's a book set called the exam cram. But in the first couple of pages of the printed version, there was this fold out cram guide that had all of these main learning areas. And uh, I don't know if they do it anymore, but you could tear it out at this perforated edge and you could tear it out and put it in your pocket and carry it with you. So it's so good. I actually created my own cram guide for members of CCNA 60 days and um, anyone who buys my Cisco books or CCNA Simplified there's a cram guide it's got really big now even though it's a cram it's it's I think for each one's 40 pages of the main stuff you need to learn so write your own or uh, use mine or um, find someone else's if you can there's some um, sites out there that do uh, cram guides uh, that's an uh, uh, irrelevant point sorry the 95 percent the next thing is you must have a study applied a study plan this is uh, from one I do for my sh coaching students day one we're doing this day two we're doing this day three we're doing this day four we actually review everything so we do it all again now when I say we're doing this we are doing some theory we're doing some labs we're taking some practice exams we're reading the cram every day we're doing this and we're covering a different topic also so we're attacking all of this um, remember the kinesthetic hands-on uh, remember the uh, visual um, and then the uh, auditory you will listen to your you watch a video or you listen to your uh, cram guide or book in audio format 
So you must have your daily tasks. You can write your own plan, use mine or um, find somebody else's if they've got one. And it tracks. This is the actual syllabus here from part of the syllabus from the CCNA. So uh, hack number seven, get a study buddy. So you keep each other accountable and one can be up. So um, any day, any particular day, you're just not in the mood. But luckily, this works in the gym as well. This is why we meet our friends in the gym and then we know, we know we've got to turn up. Your friend's in a good mood and had a good day. So you can, one of you will lift each other up and help the other other and you keep each other accountable. And you just go around in this cycle of learning, improving, learning, improving. And um, it's really good. You don't have to be together. You can find a forum somewhere. Just find someone who's serious at the same level as you and they want to pass. The next thing, oh, I'll use the same image, how annoying. In your study habit, you must study, if possible, the same time every day, the same place uh, and the same days and the same order. So what I did was I got up early um, and I sat on my bed for 30 minutes when I woke up every morning uh, when I was first studying. Then at work, I got to work early. I did a 60 minute session and then after work, I closed down my work emails and everything and I did 30 minute labs. I did that every day, round and round and round and round. I got CCNA and I did it round and round and round again. I did CCMP doing this exact same thing, MC, SA, etc, etc. This is important because a habit will take you around 30 days to form. Do this over and over for 30 days and then you'll just do it without even thinking. All right, hack number nine, you stu uh, study guides, your main one and your, um, back, you call it your backup. I'll explain why. So two perspectives on the same issue, two different authors or two different ways of the same subject. One of them will work better for you. So you use that guide. The other one will just give you another viewpoint. So that'll be your backup guide. So they fill in gaps. No, I've never found the perfect book apart from mine, obviously, but I'm biased. The second one you can get on Kindle. So you can spend $30, $40 on your printed one and Kindle is anything from $10 up. Uh, by the way, this is my shameless plug. I'll give you a warning on there. How to network dot com. We've got actually live racks. So I'm stood. I'm hitting all of these things I'm telling you about. We've got tons of exams. We've got tons of video. Um, there's an audio book, and that's actually paid. That's paid for, and that's under the products. I say that because I've learned how what works and how it works. So um, shameless plug, howtonetwork.com. There's a, a $1 join link for anyone watching my YouTube videos. Come to howtonetwork.com, look around for 10 minutes and check out the case studies and what you get. Uh, there's 25 certification, practice exams, live Cisco racks, a special URL. And then if you please go to howtonetwork.com slash YouTube, you'll get the $1 join for 30 days access. Thanks for listening. I hope they help. Please take action. That's the secret to success. And I'll see you on the next video.